climate change. Natural disasters. Freshwater shortage. Species extinction. Temperature change. Sea level rise. Deserts as far north as Berlin. The situation calls for action, and opportunity is found in the incentives which are many and impossible to deny. Until now, no design has answered the challenge at the scale necessary to produce real results. Historically, movements such as the steam engine leading to the Industrial Revolution or the railroad which revolutionized transport, even the introduction of the internet met huge political or economic challenges prior to revolutionizing their sector. We now find ourselves on the brink of a similar situation. Much of our research shows that the technology is in place and that it can be done. But somehow there's another thing on another level that keeps it from happening. The arguments have such a degree of consensus that one sometimes wonder why it hasn't already happened. Fortunately, the European Union embraced the idea of a Europe-wide approach to reduce emissions 80% in 2050. Encouraging people to go beyond national interests, to go beyond the vested economic interests, come together and simply address a problem that transcends the size of a nation on a scale that transcends the size of a nation. What is clear is that all sectors have to contribute but without the participation of transport in the power sector, such a thing will not happen. The nice thing is that the technology exists, and it's either currently available on the market or in demo stage. A mix of renewable energy sources in various parts of Europe, when carefully planned, can supply all the energy required given increasing demand. Until now, individual nation states have been responsible for their own development and implementation. As part of this design, countries are not limited to relying on the renewable energy sources that thrive based on the climate and their geographic location. In summer, the windy north can profit from the sunny south, and in the winter, the sunny south could profit from the windy north. As a union with an intranational transmission infrastructure, European nations benefit from the diversity of energy sources that are planned. Further investment could enhance the effects of our design many fold. Although it's possible with current technology, there's a high probability that by 2050, research and development will lead to technological breakthroughs. This means less investment will be required for a comparable or even better result. So the logical question to ask about our proposal is, what will 2050 look like? Maybe the most revolutionary insight of this study is that 2050 may look just like today. Everything that moves is the same and it still moves. Only the things that make things move have all completely changed. An invisible revolution which could save the planet. A commitment to the realization of this design allows us to imagine all the benefits of a decarbonized European power sector. We have accepted the challenge to design a project which will address the need for a sustainable solution at an appropriate scale, one where the results will make enough of an impact on climate change, energy security, and represent a true investment in a sustainable future.